So it is fall and I'm out of candles. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's all there again. And do you guys hear that? It's a motorcycle getting in my oh god dang. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's all there again. And for today's video, I first of all, if you have not noticed yet, I am so ready for fall because I have my flanner. My flannel? Is it flannel or flannel? Um, anyways, whatever it is, I have my square shirt ready. So for today, I decided to do some room decor because what's a better way to welcome the new season than with your room? And I don't know, I kind of see things differently once I decorate my room according to the season that we're in. And I really needed this change because I was really getting tired of my summer decor. So hopefully you guys like this video and without any further ado, let's go. Okay guys, so I'll start off by giving you some tips that can make a huge difference in your room. One simple thing that you can do is to take your everyday frames and take out the picture and replace them with inspirational quotes. Now you can get these quotes all over Tumblr or if not Pinterest, but I will be using this quote book that I got from Michaels. And the best part was that it was on sale. So when I saw that sale sign, I was like, yes, I am not letting you go. You are definitely coming with me, so. So I really like this idea because you don't have to spend any money whatsoever. Unless you buy the Michael books, then you are spending a little bit of money. But nonetheless, once you finish, then you can spread them all over your room. We messed up all the time. Another thing that you can do to make your room more seasonal is to put flowers and pretty much all of these flowers that you're seeing right here I got from the dollar store so it was pretty inexpensive so just have fun and make like little bouquets of flowers and see how many of them can you make and lastly but not least you can sprinkle autumn leaves all over your room and again I got these from the Dollar Tree try not to buy them from Michaels because right there they will be like five dollars and then at Dollar Tree they're like one dollar so if you do all of these little details or just do one like I promise you that you will get into the fall season mood so now we're moving into DIYs and for the first DIY you are going to need a big canvas, some gold sharpies, a hot glue gun, scissors, ribbon, and a garland. So I'll start off by painting my white canvas orange and to be honest with you guys I thought that it was gonna be a less orange G but this will do fine I guess and then I'm gonna let it dry for like 20 minutes so while it's drying then I'm gonna take my garland and I'm basically just gonna do like four squares that measure four inches each afterwards I'll just cut them and then at the bottom I will do like this little V. It was like two inches by two inches. I'll just cut it too. Once I have all of my little squares ready, then I'll just take a black Sharpie and write the word fall. So once the canvas dries, I'll just write the word hello. Once I finish doing that, then I'll take the ribbon and I'll tie it like right in the middle of the frame and I'll make a knot in the back. So here is where we're gonna put the little garland letters that we did. So I'm gonna glue them like this because I want the top area not to show. And basically I'm just putting it backwards and then bringing it forward again. And then I'll just press it so the glue like can stick to the fabric, if that makes sense. 
like it is super easy guys and like once you finish doing that then you have like this beautiful and expensive frame that took you like less than what 30 minutes no words for two days. I For my second DIY, you are also going to need another canvas, also some acrylic paint, a hot glue gun, a gold sharpie, and some leaves. So I'm gonna do the same thing and I'll start off by painting the canvas, but instead of doing it orange, I decided to do it this red maroonish color, which is so beautiful. So once it's dry, then I'm just gonna take some leaves and play around with them and I'm just gonna put it like right in the center of the frame. After playing with them after a while, I just decided to keep three. So then I'm just gonna glue them with a hot glue gun. And once I'm done gluing all of the leaves, then I'll take a gold sharpie and I will outline the whole leaf. And it goes super well with the red because it just like balances each other out. So it's like really nice and really pretty and you will not regret doing this because it looks beautiful. <laughs> So that was it guys, so if you guys like this video, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe down below. And uh, comment down below what's your favorite thing about fall, is it the clothes, the drinks, American Horror Story, which by the way, I am completely lost at this point, like, is it a nightmare? Uh, what is this? Anyways, comment something down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye!